everybody, Mount Do Many here, and welcome to not Vox Populi, <laughs> as you can see. Um, this is the Infinity Evolved uh, TriCraftia server right now, and the reason I am here and not on my usual home away from home Vox Populi, as I've always told you, if a subject matter is going to get real and I let my redneck out I will go somewhere else I will not video on uh, Vox Populi in respect to zombie mold and my girl Latin goddess because it's just it's very disrespectful and I wouldn't do that to them and shed any bad light on their server so I'm on my server and there is a reason for that and if you're keeping up with me you know that uh, the redneck rants are now in season four wow I just I cannot believe already season four it's just incredible so I have decided that I'm going to try to be a little more me uh, when I talk about some of these subjects that really matter to me so I mean sometimes you just got to say what's on your mind and in your heart and be true to yourself and that's going to be the subject B is for bullying yeah and this is one of those that gets under my skin very quickly uh, and if you're wondering what I mean a blustering quarrelsome overbearing person who habitually badgers and intimidates small or weaker people than themselves that's what I'm talking about when I say bully bullying and to jump right into some quotes Macklemore says bullying is a national epidemic I would go one step further I would say bullying is a world epidemic so you know there is so much to say about this but I'm going to try to be as rational as I can here from the beginning um, it's there are three types of people when it comes to a bullying situation you think there's two but there's actually three there is of course the bully usually sometimes most times when I was a kid at least bigger stronger taller uh, you know always one of the the big kids in school when I say big I mean you know very popular uh, jock type um, you know and there's any situation has a different kind of bully I understand that I'm just telling you my personal experience but yeah there's always those select few that they think because they're taller, richer, I don't know, wider, uh, you know, what, you know, whatever, more, I don't know, they wear their hat better, you know, their boots are different, I don't know. Do you have to have a reason to be a bully? I mean, you know, I mean, it's just, it's ridiculous. And it used to be now it wasn't so bad with girls when I was in school of course you got the snobby ones you know their their bodies are better their hair is better their teeth are better but they don't really bully in the sense that they just incessantly pick on anybody at least they didn't when I was in school it was more like you know they snub you you stick your nose in the air I'm better than you and that's the end of the conversation you know you're not in my you're not in my universe and I'm certainly not in yours and that was it but nowadays I mean girls are just as bad at, at being bullies as boys and it used to be older kids you know in high school where that's where the bullies were now my god it's probably in kindergarten it's ridiculous it's it's like certain people and I don't know why people turn into bullies I mean it probably they are um, they got problems at home or when they were younger they were picked on and you know what if you can't beat them join them so but so there's the bully then you have the victim the person that is I mean there something is something is wrong with them that everybody else doesn't like they wear glasses they're in the band they're in the chess club they're smarter than you they're smaller than you their hair isn't cut the same as yours whatever the reason is and it's usually a ridiculous one um, they get picked on consistently continually to the point people that people die now they cannot take the just unrelenting bullying 
and it just doesn't stop ever until they stop it and I mean either they take a gun to school and they settle it or they do something to themselves and harm themselves just to end the pain now this is where people usually say well that's the two dynamics of bullying no it's not there is another one the witness okay the witness is not a bully simply because they know it's wrong they know in their heart that it's wrong so but they don't say anything against the bullying but they don't help the victim either they're sideliners they don't want to get involved because they know they're probably going to end up being one of the two and they don't really that's not you know they don't want to do that they don't want to be a bully but they don't want to be a victim either so they just they're you know yeah they're they're witnesses that's it uh, they see it happen they just don't want to get involved and do anything about it uh, not because they don't care just they don't want to get into it they don't need the drama they got more important things they got their own troubles in their own lives I'm not getting into it it ain't happening to me not getting into it I feel sorry for Fred over here that's getting the shit beat out of him every day I, I can't stand Roger over here that's being a total dickhead but I'm not going to get involved I just do not need this in my life right now so end of story all right so it's people I don't under I don't think people realize uh, your words have power you have to use them wisely anything that comes out of your mouth will and does affect somebody around you it does it may not seem like it oh I'm nobody nothing I can say would matter in anybody else's life yeah it can it does daily you might not realize it because you have no idea what your actions or your words the effect it has on another person you could say something like you know what that's a really nice shirt I like that on you it looks great and go about your business and that one simple quick statement to somebody that's having a very bad day and would it could have for all you know been contemplating suicide when they got home you changed their life in that one second what you did you'll probably never know it you don't see it in your world I mean you know you don't see this huge big change in the terrain like here you know here in Minecraft but it does happen so your words are powerful what you say can lift somebody up to the highest point in the sky it can take them down to the deepest level of hell just for what you say so bear that in mind before you think about what you're going to say before it comes out of your mouth okay so okay let's let's travel around a little bit here in the wilderness of bullying um Michael H Honda said everyone in America likely has a bullying story whether as a victim a bully or as a witness that's very true somewhere in your life you have probably been bullied you've seen somebody bully somebody else or you have bullied somebody and don't sit there and shake your head no I ain't never said nothing about nobody we are we've all done it to an extent somewhere it probably isn't as mean and cruel as all the stuff that makes the media but think about it be honest with yourself somewhere along the line you've said something mean to somebody that was not on your social level they were smaller they were weaker they were younger in age and when your friends giggled and laughed because you smarted off oh god yeah them tail feathers just ruffled right up didn't they you the shit now uh-huh think about it and I can sit here and honestly say yeah I can remember doing it as a kid at the time it wasn't stupid oh man I, I made my friends laugh I'm cool yeah and with so-and-so crying over in the corner ah, they'll get over it looking back I wish I'd never opened my damn mouth but hindsight's always 2020 isn't it so okay let me make it daylight um, I told you this is gonna be a rant Shay Mitchell said I realize that bullying never has to do with you it's the bully who's insecure and that's to an extent that's, that's right 
is you know most bullies are bullies because of something that has happened to them they have been bullied so you know hey if i can't beat them all by god join them they are mistreated at home probably abused mentally or physically do not judge anybody i mean yeah bullying is wrong but you got to know the root of it you got to know the reason for it what caused it can it be fixed can they be helped and then you've got that s small percentage yeah they just they just want to be jerks they enjoy hurting other people you know for whatever reason so, yeah, I mean, there's all dynamics to this. You could go on and on and, you know, just dig into it. And, I mean, but is that a, is there an answer to it? I doubt it. You know, we can sit and talk about it and theorize about it and have, you know, debates on it. But is it going to fix the problem? No, not until everybody stands up together and fixes the problem. If everybody's not on board and wants to fix the problem, it's not going to be fixed. So, now I want you to take this into consideration. Um, it's, think about this. Lynette uh, Mather said, what if the kid you bullied at school grew up and turned out to be the only surgeon in the world that could save your life or your kid's life? Now, just think about that. And you know the first thing when you walk into their office, doctor, doctor, please, you've got to save my only child. He's only three years old and he's going to die. And everybody says that you've saved so many lives. Please, you have to help me. And that doctor looks you straight in the eye and you see the recognition. And they know who you are. This is the kid that you called nerdy and stupid and weird um, all those days and punched and poked and prodded and belittled them for years in school and made fun of them because they loved to read about medical stuff and helping people and they joined all those stupid weird clubs that nobody else joins not the cool clubs like you did and you see it in their eyes now what do you do yeah do you turn around and walk out uh, do you go ahead and plan your kid's funeral, your funeral? But do you hope that that person kept their big heart and will help you? Uh, will they help you and still hate your guts? Yeah, probably. But they've took a higher oath um, and they're more of a stronger person than they used to be. But does it pass through their mind? I've got your life in my hands. Yeah, it probably does, and it probably feels real good. Let's be honest. Okay, and then there's one more thing that I want to address, and it's starting to be a really bad problem. Now, it was not a problem when I was a kid, mainly because there was no Internet when I was a kid. Internet didn't come along to the 80s. I didn't have a computer and online until I was out of the Army and uh, married, okay, in the 80s. So, yeah. Social media, social online bullying is ridiculous. And in a way, it's worse, it's more dangerous than actual um, in-person bullying because bullies pretty much are cowards. If you stand up to them and get up in their face, you might take a licking, but actually you're going to learn, you're going to earn some respect if it's one-on-one -on -one because they're probably going to be shocked that you didn't that you didn't run i have never backed down from a bully have i been hurt before yeah i've had a busted nose black eyes but no i won't back down from anybody that's a bully i don't care if it's somebody i've never met in my life or it is one of my best friends if you are being a bully i will tell you to your face I, if I hurt you, I would probably regret that. If I lose your friendship, I will regret that. But I will not tolerate a bully. Is that being a bully? Is that fighting a bully by being a bully? Yeah, probably. Am I weaker than that person? Yeah, I'm just a skinny little 50-year-old mom. Am I going to back down from a six foot five guy? Or, you know, no. Hell no. If I go down, you're going to go down with me. I guarantee you that. Something's going to be hurting. 
And that's just the way I roll. Am I telling you to go get in a fight? No. I'm telling you that if you stand up for yourself, who's being bullied in your in your group of friends? 10, 12, 15 of you? How many bullies are there? One? Yeah. But does violence beget violence? Yes, it does. All right, see, there's no good answer. Am I telling you to go punch somebody in the face? Absolutely not. Am I telling you everybody that is being bullied in that school, go to the principal's office, go to your parents as a group, not one at a time, make a bigger voice. Tell somebody. If you have to go to the school board, the mayor, I don't care where you go, all of y'all that are being bullied, and there's more than one of you, if you reach out, there is more than one of you. Trust me on this. You get together, you make a statement. You can do it. And there are better ways of doing it than punching somebody in the face. That's just my way of doing it. So don't don't let me be any kind of example to you. Okay? Um, I'm stupid. I learn slowly. But uh, no. If you, if you are being bullied, you tell someone. If your parents don't believe you, no, that's just not true, little Fred. You're not being bullied. He was just trying. He was, you know how kids are. Yeah, you do know how kids are. Did you get bullied in school, Mom? People pick on you? If you won't help me, fine. Then I'll go to the principal. I'm sorry. Sorry, Mom. Sorry, Dad. If you don't believe me, um, you know, will you, would you believe me if I said I was going to commit suicide? Would that convince you? No, I'm not that stupid. But if you won't believe me, I will find somebody that will. And so will the 15 and 20 other people that are being bullied too. And we're going to stick together and we're going to put a stop to this. Somebody will listen. Especially in mass. You know? Well, now you kids trying to work it out. Whoa, wait a minute. Why are there 25 angry, pissed off kids in my classroom all of a sudden or in my office? What is going on here? Yeah, Principal George, have we got your attention now? Or do we need to go to the school board? You know? Maybe we just need to go on down the road here and maybe we need to go to the mayor's office or a county commissioner. Maybe we need to get my mom's lawyer. Hey, everybody put your allowance together. You take it to a lawyer just for the damn free promotion that the you know they'd take your case come on be creative you don't have to hurt anybody to get your point across so it all comes down to standing up for yourself and taking care of the problem am i in trying to incite anybody to a right or to do anything wrong absolutely not that's not my intention I am telling you that if you stick with your friends and you stick up to, for each other, bullying can be stopped. It can be. And ask any of your friends that are not being bullied, what should I do? And the first thing they're going to say, you need to tell Mr. So-and-so. You need to tell the principal. Have you told your mom and dad? Do not for one second think you are alone. You are not. You are not alone. You tell somebody. Right now. Okay? Do it. Um, and what was so funny as I was getting ready to um, voice over this video, my computer, you guys know, has been screwing up, so my all my settings got redone when I uh, updated to Windows 10, so I'm having to voice over on this video so I apologize if you're thinking what the hell is going on with the background um, but it was so weird I was uh, one of the tryhards came in Xanthi and was talking about apparently somebody went to watch a video and and some kid was bullying 
to somebody, and of course that didn't work out, so he started picking on some eight-year-old kid. What is wrong with people? It's, it's like online is just, you know, you're behind a computer screen. There is no consequences for what you do. I can pick on the biggest person in the world. You can't get to me. You don't know me. I can sit here and talk smack all day and pick on you and pick on you and pick on you with a bitty boy. You know, come on. It's ridiculous. And people do, a lot of people do not consider that bullying, but it is. It's just as much being a bully online as it is in person. Online is just as real and just as painful, okay, as it is if you were standing there doing it in person. So, for all you teenage kids out here getting out of school for the summer, and you're going to be on YouTube a whole lot, and you're going to game with your friends, and that's going to be cool and fun, remember that you have a responsibility. Now you're not in your own little backyard anymore. Now you're in a whole new world. And a lot of people are going to watch you. Okay? They're going to come, they're going to hear about your channel through friends or whatever and they're going to watch you. Now, if you want to come across as an as a asshole jerk kid when maybe sooner or later YouTube might become a real thing for you, Nobody knows what's going to happen in the future. This is how you want to start out. This is how you want to be remembered as a bully, as a jerk. Why would I want to come and watch you? Why would I want to be part of your stupidity? That's what you stand for? You're not, you're not here to play the game because you love it? You're not here to be cool and just have a good time? It doesn't matter what age or what other games other people play? You're going to base your channel, your reputation, you're going to pay, base yourself on being a bully? Oh, yeah, dude. That's really impressive. Wow. So, online bullying, just as bad as being a bully. Oh, no, no, no. No, but it's not real. Yes, it's real. Everything that comes out of your mouth that impacts another person on this planet is your responsibility. You are in charge of your mouth. So, take that into mind before you open it and a bunch of garbage comes out that you can never take back. It will affect the rest of your life. I am telling you, for your own good, from personal experience, when my mouth has overshot my brain, you can ruin friendships, you can ruin chances, and you can ruin people's lives by what you say and your actions. Do not think that being online makes it anonymous. It does not. And that you're not responsible because you are. If you hurt somebody online, you might as well just went up and slapped them in the face in real life. It has the same mental and physical effect. Just like that. Oh, I just broke that. It doesn't matter to anybody. I just slapped that. It doesn't matter to anybody. It's just a game. It's just online. It's not real. Yes, it is. To the person you hurt and humiliated, yes, it is real. And it can have consequences that you will never be able to lay your head down and go to sleep because the nightmares will crawl into your mind and they will stay there and haunt you for the rest of your life. Do not doubt it for a second. Do you understand me? Do not. Bullying is wrong on any kind of level. And I'll tell you why this subject gets me so riled up. I have a son. He's 17 now. And he is autistic. He's very, very ADHD. He has a lot of uh, muscle problems, um, memory problems. But gaming is his whole life. And I'm always so scared when he meets new people, that they're going to hurt him, but, you know, so I'm always careful about, I mean, the guys that he games with, he has gamed with for a lot, I've actually talked to some of them, and I would, I mean, but if it come down to it, I would 
take his internet away in a minute if I thought somebody was hurting him bad enough. I would do it in a heartbeat to protect my child. What are you willing to do to protect your younger brother, younger sister, your friend, your colleague at school who has been bullied? Stand up and say something. Do not let it go on. You tell somebody. You tell somebody that you are being bullied. Please. Right now. Alright guys, I'm going to wrap this up. Believe me when I tell you that I have been where you are. If you are a victim of bullying, I know what you're going through. Do not ever think that you are alone. You talk to somebody right now. You hear me? Okay. If I got too emotional or too into that, I apologize. That's why I wasn't on Vox. Um, I can get very riled up about certain subjects, and this is one of them. Um, it's stupid and wrong, and I will not tolerate it. So, I um, hope you guys, uh, I don't know if you enjoyed it, but I hope you walk away with a little more understanding uh, from whichever side of the triangle you're standing on right now and try to see the other person. All right? You guys have a great day. Tell me what you think in the comments, and I look forward uh, to reading through them. And I will talk to you guys later. This is Mountain Dew Mania. And uh, this is uh, Redneck Rants. I'm so out of here. Later, guys.